Okay, we're going to look at the Obama two terms, and uh, we're going to look at the economy first, and then do another video and look at the uh, foreign policy. I think it's been obvious over all the years that we've been doing this where we stand, but looking back on it, it makes it a little bit easier to see what was good and what was bad and how we can go with it. And today we're going to do the domestic. What kind of a president was uh, President Obama as a domestic president? Well, he came in promising hope and change. He was a great speaker. He seemed to be a really good guy, a great family man, a great wife, a great first lady. You really couldn't ask for more in a man, in a family, in a person, in an American than being the president. How was he, though, as getting his ideas across, what his ideas were, getting them across, and then implementing them? Well, of course, we talk about Obamacare. That was really necessary. We needed a some type of insurance system to take care of all those people who were underinsured or uninsured, I'm sorry. The problem is, like we found out with the Obama presidency over the next eight years, what was seemed to be there wasn't there. He was really great at pointing and being a director. You do this, you do that, but did not know how to get it installed. So Obamacare went in, he forced it through. He got no Republican support. I mean, this is everybody, the Democrats are always complaining about the Republicans. And the Republicans are complaining about the Democrats. But in this situation, he owned the, uh, the, the, the Congress and he, and he went in and pushed it through without any Republican support. And then he had Nancy Pelosi going up and saying, we'll know about it after it passes. It just didn't work well. There were certain things we could have done. He made promises you can keep your, your doctor. He knew it wasn't going to work. That was just an out and out lie. And, and then what has happened is prices have gone up incredibly. Some of the insurance companies are pulling out. The deductibles are horrible. And it, it's gotten a lot of people insured, but really only expanded Medicare. And it just didn't do the job. These, some of these things that we really need to keep in, letting kids stay on until they're 26 and pre-existing and all that, probably could have been done without this kind of what we've gone through. And now we're going to have the Republicans trying to bring their game in. But did he do Obamacare well? No. And then remember, he brought in the computers. We put it up. The computers crashed everywhere. The software, horrible, horrible. He brought in all this money. He, he passed. He came in during the worst time, in one of the worst times in history in the economy. And he pumped all this cash out into the economy. He got the stimulus passed. And he talked about all these shovel-ready projects. But unfortunately, there were no projects. And Hardly any were ready and like there were no shovels. So that was a total and complete fake out and horrible and a waste. We really needed two or three times that. He relied very much upon the Fed, or the Fed to keep things going by reducing interest rates. And that's what pushed up the, um, the, 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 the market. And you have to give him credit for, for picking Janet Yellen and keeping her in there. But that's a little bit of credit. But he really never pushed through the stimulus after that. And his stimulus didn't work. Everybody likes to blame the president for the racial issues. I don't think so. I just think that what's happened, well, he's only one man. He's only one American. He was president, but he's still only one person. I think the problem, you know, the problem we have there is that the president is very focused on the underdog, the underdog. And it doesn't matter what the, who, who or what the underdog is. He'll just support the underdog and think the underdog is being taken advantage of it. I just think that happened throughout. We're going to see a big time in his foreign policy. And and he really didn't make things inclusive. He was so focused on what he wanted to do. And then at the end, of course, now at the end, his immigration stuff just never worked. He promised to get out of Guantanamo. I consider that uh, uh, a domestic because that's right off the water, right over the water from Florida. And and our economy, yeah, we have um, uh, uh, more people working, a lot more people working, but people are bummed. So many people are out of work that can't go back and find the work. And, and he just put a lot of people out of work when he was focused on getting rid of coal and everything, which made sense. But instead of really looking out for the people in the coal industries, he just kind of moved them out and just pumped all this cash into a lot of these solar companies that just went bankrupt. It just didn't make sense. That should have been money as we asked for for years just to go into basic research, government basic research, let government let get the licenses and then license and then sell those licenses or, or, or license them out and make a lot of money. So in foreign policy, so I'm sorry, in domestic policy, how do we look at President Obama? He got more people covering insurance, but we have a very unhappy group of people. That's why his he, he, he uh, President, one reason that, that uh, Hillary wasn't re, wasn't elected, he was out there saying, it's my election, it's my election, you're re-electing me, and they didn't vote for him. I think his polls look great because he just seems like a nice guy, but they weren't going to vote for him a third time. Americans just had it. 
So what kind of a grade do we give his domestic policy? A D. Uh, that's sad. A lot of hope and promise just did not come around. But some people got insured. And we'll take that. Peace.